Welcome to the last video in a series that is talking about trying to reduce the impact of biting insects such as midges, sandflies and mosquitoes. I've done two videos already, uh, one about uh, chemical repellents and the other about non-chemical repellents. Today I'm going to talk about uh, alternative methods to putting stuff on your skin to try and reduce the amount of mosquitoes that and mosquitoes and sandflies that are around. Um, so there's a few different things you can do. With sandflies they're not very strong flyers so we have an industrial fan. The industrial fan does two things, it keeps us cool and it does actually blow the sandflies away and we found that quite effective. Second thing you can do is once it gets dark and uh, particularly as the sun sets so I call that the witching hour and that's when the mozzies really start to come out and uh, most nights you'll start putting on repellent and so forth you switch on your outside lighting if you've got white light and white LED lights you're going to attract a lot of insects so not only are you getting biting insects you're going to get flying insects and I use LED lights that I can flick to a yellow light and they make a significant difference when they're on the yellow lights, the amount of insects that they attract. Um, and it's quite noticeable in terms of the amount of mosquitoes that are attracted to the white light and the yellow light as well. The other things that we do are muzzy coils. So most people think muzzy coils are muzzy coils. There are the well-known brand type that come with a tin and you get about 30 in those, they're about 15 cents each, or 16 cents each I should say. And then there are other packets that come with um, 10 or 20 in them. This is a 10 pack, and with the mozzie coil you get this tiny little bracket that it sits upon rather than the fancy tin. What's the difference? I didn't think there used to be a difference, but when I bought this tin and started using them, I found that it wasn't effect as effective as some of the other uh, mozzicoils that I'd used in the past. So when I look at the ingredients, there's a difference between those. So this one here, the active ingredient is alanthrin and um, citronella oil, whereas this version only has a lantern. This has two grams per kilogram, this has four grams per kilogram. So the active ingredient is twice as strong in this version and you will notice the difference. You can burn them various ways. Um, so this particular version we got from the local markets up here in Darwin. Um, it's, it's a cute little thing represents a gecko but basically you can put your mozzie coil in and you burn it from the inside out. I've also showed you the little bracket that you have uh, that comes with the other brand so if we just take that off it's fairly simple it's just a little sharp point that pushes into a slot in the middle of the mozzie coil. There are some disadvantages with that is that they're open to the elements, the wind can come through, uh, it can blow them over. Um, if they do get blown over, a mozzie coil won't continue to burn unless it's got air all around. So the whole thing has to have air running around it so it can burn. If it's flat against the surface, uh, it will go out. So that is a bit of a disadvantage. The tin However, it helps a fair bit, uh, it protects it from the elements, stops it getting blown over and so forth. It, consequently what I've done is <laughs> we've purchased the tin and I use this brand of mozzie coil inside the tin. How effective is it? It makes a noticeable difference. So the other product we use is the thermosel. 
So it's a nifty little device. It has a gas bottle in the bottom that screws in. And up here, it heats a pad. So we turn it on, we press the button. You can see a little pilot light in here. And then what it does is heats the pad. And then what we do is we get these little blue pads that come with the pack and you can buy half the market packs. They last, they say they last about four hours. I tend to find they last closer to three hours. So to replace the pad, you push the new one in and the old one falls out. To start the unit, switch it to on, you can hear the gas running, and can't see that in the camera, you may see that in the camera, and then what it does is that heats up a flame that heats up that pad. And the active ingredient in these is the same as the mozzie coils. Uh, it's a lanthanum, which is a synthetic form of pyrethrum. Um, Set for the pads are seven grams per kilogram, so these are a little bit more effective. You will notice the difference uh, with these. You'll get swamped with mozzies. You'll light one of these up, and about ten minutes later, you'll notice there's a marked difference in the mosquitoes. Same goes for sandflies as well. My favourite setup is to have this sitting beside me and having a mozzie coil on the floor down around my ankles and I can be sitting out here on a bad night and when I say a bad night there'll be a high tide and uh, the midges will be out um, there'll be a bit of humidity around I rain some rain a few days ago and the mozzies are out as well um, and I can be sitting out here with no repellent on and I don't get bitten by anything um, it's always a risk if you don't put repellent on, but that's how effective they have been at times. So, um, yeah. So my preference, ultimately, is to have the thermocell running as well as a mozzie coil running. Just a final note. If you're somebody that really reacts to midge or sandfly bites or mosquito bites, I would use a combination of things. I would use this. This is by far the best repellent to put on your skin, in my personal opinion. It beats all the natural ones and it's the best of the chemical ones. I would be running a thermocell and I run that at a, at a height, like it sits on the table next to us. You won't notice it running, it has no smell, it does not create any irritation. And then on the floor, next to your ankles, I'd be running a mozzie coil. And I think that you will find that you'll discourage virtually all the mosquitoes and sandflies. So I hope that was a benefit. If it was, like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the flip side.